it's with Oregon Scientific. Yeah, so we're Oregon Scientific. Uh, today we're highlighting a few key products, so maybe we'll start with the first one. The first one we call it the Smart Watch. Uh, so we call it Smart Watch and we call it True Smart. Why? Because uh, this is the only watch on the market that currently communicates with uh, iPads. Uh, so we're talking about iPad, iPad 3, iPhone 4S, iPhone 5. And we're able to pass data with it and we don't need to, we don't need to recharge it. So for example, this is uh, using a coin cell battery and we can communicate with iPhones without having to recharge the battery. So that's something that's quite new. With what? With, uh, with uh, for example, I, uh, all the uh, Apple, the latest Apple um, smart four? devices. So this is Bluetooth uh, low energy. Yeah. So maybe I can show you a little bit what we developed. Uh, so with this watch, uh, we've also developed an app along with it. So um, we've got a lot of apps that we developed, and this is uh, the this is the one for the watch. So basically, inside the watch, we've developed a lot of programs and softwares for sports and otherwise. Um, and here, we'll put all of our memories onto the iPhone. So actually, these are all the records of different activities. And then you can also check out an overall, an overall activity um, of what you've done weekly, monthly, or annually. So what kind of sensors do you have in here? So in this one, stuff? yeah, we've we got, like we got, uh, we got two different uh, models. So uh, these three are the RA900, these two are the SE900. In the RA900 we've got some outdoor sensors and in the SE900 we've got some like indoor ones. So like for example, um, we can sync different types of software along to the watch. So actually if for example in maybe one week in the life of someone, of someone quite athletic they might choose to cycle, run and go do some fitness or go for a workout. So we can sync that all with the watch. Uh, maybe a day in the life of someone who's a bit more casual in sports, they might, for example, want a weather watch, a cycling watch, and. But what does it mean, a weather watch? Okay, yeah, so maybe I can show what you. What is it doing? Yeah. So in each one of the softwares that we, that we install, we have a, a load of different features. So, for example, if I go into weather, it'll give me my uh, 12 to 24 hour uh, weather forecast, uh, measure the temperature, and give me my time. If I, for example, go into, uh, let's say, a running watch, then it'll come with all the running features. So it'll search for a, uh, a chest belt or heart rate. So we've got this uh, Bluetooth low energy chest belt, which it, pairs, which it pairs along with. And so right now I'm not wearing one. So if I just skip that and get started, it's gonna show me my heart rate, my exercise time. It's gonna show me my speed and my distance uh, for my run. And it's also going to show me my calorie burn and uh, and my exercise time. So speed and distance is based on pedometer, or is it based on the GPS kind of thing? Uh, this uh, we've got different types of softwares. This first one is based on pedometer, so you can say it's based on a 3D algorithm, 3D sensor algorithm that we've got inside the watch. Uh, later versions, we're actually going to get the GPS information data from your smartphone and send it over to here. Actually, it's a bit of a more efficient way using a GPS as opposed so to GPS. On, I saw you were choosing three, does that mean there's only space for three at a time? There's on, space on for the... three at a time on this particular model, So that's, that's why great. you choose the three? Yes. It's but three we can... apps, or what is it? Three apps at any one time. So it's yes. three, it's so basically in, in each one of the apps we have our own profiles and our own uh, our own algorithms for each sports or each watch. And then we can upload uh, any three at any one time to the watch. Nice. Yeah. Do you show notifications for emails and stuff, or is that not what you do? Uh, we're gonna start. We're not gonna do uh, email notification, but we are gonna. Be, well, this is uh, I, uh, iOS six compatible. Yeah. So that means we we can we will do because iOS six only just recently came out. After our first launch, we're gonna start going into, for example, Facebook notification. So those types of notifications. Facebook yeah. notification. <laughs> SMS, we're, we we're, we're only going to go for uh, Facebook, uh, Twitter, and potentially SMS, but uh, these, uh, the last one is, is not nice. confirmed yet, so, but notification only. So people yeah. who are crazy with Facebook, yeah. this could be awesome. It could be awesome. It could be awesome. So, so if you get a message, it'll say something or show an icon? Or? It'll show an icon. It'll show an icon that you've received something new. So that's something that's uh, going to be for next year. Next year? Yeah. So it's just a software update? Or how's so, it going to be? Software update. Uh, through the, the tablet, or you need to connect the USB and do some clicking and through the through the tablet. We do have uh, uh, maybe I can show you. 
So basically, you go into uh, you go into the connect, uh, yeah. the connect mode, and then you can connect it over to your USB. So, for example, this is my connect mode. I click connect. Um, I can choose to update my profile, and then it will start communicating with the phone, and then that's how it will pass over all of those uh, all those details and all those information. So, what kind of sc screen do you have? And processor, what's inside? Okay, so the screen we have here, uh, this is a, um, a F uh, FSTN LCD, so it's a, it's a pretty high grade uh, LCD, it's a, a complex dot matrix. Uh, inside the processor, I mean, I can't say too much about it, but basically, uh, we, what I can tell you is that we're using Bluetooth for energy, uh, uh, Bluetooth for energy chip to actually communicate over to. Uh, iPads, so that's iPad 3, iPhone 4S, and iPhone 5. So, what kind of resolution is there, or how, how much? I mean, there's some icons that are fixed that, that light up, and some that that is pixels, right? That's right. That's right. Because we're using effectively, we we live up to the idea of being true smart, and true smart to us means you don't have to recharge. Uh, the watch. So we have a battery lifetime of about six months to one year, depending on usage, with a coin cell battery. Six months to one year uh, for kind of like normal use? Or? No, uh, no, no, no. Using with your pad, using with your... Constantly? Uh, you, uh, yeah. Uh, using it, uh, for example, on a weekly basis, you might uh, change, change your softwares, update your memories, and share it. Um, on a weekly basis. So, uh, depending on your usage, maximum uh, in terms of really high usage, six months. In terms of uh, ev occasionally, it'll go for a year plus. So, availability and how much is going to cost? Okay, so uh, these three we're talking about 199 uh, SRP, these two we're talking about 149 SRP. And uh, the availability uh, will be by uh, the end of this year. So the main difference between these and this? Uh, this one also has some outdoor um, uh, outdoor uh, sensors for some specific profiles. This one is more sports and indoor. So outdoor would be the... Altimeter, barometer, um, uh, other outdoor sensors, uh, being able to detect the temperature, and then uh, also be able to kind of display some of those more uh, outdoor details that this one would not be able to do. So this one is more indoors, sports and fitness. So what kind of other stuff do you have? Okay, uh, so moving on, uh, we've also got uh, this one, which is our new action camera. Uh, so this action camera, we call it the chameleon. Uh, why do we call it the chameleon? Because similar to a chameleon, it actually has two, uh, two lenses that can move uh, independently. So these two lenses can move at 180 degrees each. Each lens has a 170 degree FOV, field of view. So when you times that by two, you're actually talking about 340 degrees uh, field of view. So this is, uh, this is not sports? This is, this is like action sports. So you put this on your head or? You can put it on your helmet, you can uh, mount it on, uh, on a bike. So we've got a, a large range of uh, different mounts. You can put it on a surfboard, you can put it on uh, different, different surfaces. Airplane? Sorry? On the airplane? Sure, why not? Yeah. Yeah. Anything? We, yeah, we, we've got literally we've got a whole load of mounting uh, mounting kits that uh, go go along with it, and basically it's a really simple operation. It's just you slide to switch on, and then slide to switch off again, and that's it. When it's on, it records. When it's on, it records, and it'll record with both lens. 1080p each way. Uh, oh, so, it? so basically, we use a, a 1080p uh, IC inside and that 1080p IC will start working with both lenses. So basically on the uh, screen, we split that 1080p into the, into the two lenses. And we also have a, um, uh, a PC software so you can really see like, how you use it. Yeah. All right, so it takes like a, the full 720p for each screen, something uh, like that? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So maybe um, we've got like uh, some videos that we're, that we're showing on this one, I'm not sure if it's clear, of some of the different activities we've done, but maybe I can give you a quick demo about the, um, how, the, how the PC software works. So, how much does it cost? Uh, it costs 199 SRP. So two cameras in one. So this is just kind of um, uh, one of the one of the softwares we have, and this is actually on a cycling trip. So so basically, what you can see here is you've got the two visions. 
So you've got one, the one lens facing in front, one lens facing behind, right? But then let's say you just want to do like a picture in picture. And let's say that your rear view is more important than your front view. Let's say if you're in a cycling race, there's actually races coming towards you. Then that's a really interesting view that you've never been able to capture before on a normal action camera. Just, uh, you can switch like this from front to back. You can uh, change the picture in picture. You can you can view one lens, or you can switch it over to the front lens. And that's like outputting the like recording. Uh, so uh, uh, so we've got uh, this one is a um, uh, this this one is a uh, a viewer, and then the next version is going to be the editor, where you can output all of this. So in real time, you choose which one and put it on the exactly YouTube. exactly. It's kind of like action packed. It's this very stuff cool, like right? This, Usually we cost thousands of dollars. Uh, yeah, I mean, like uh, the way we see it is that you have two cameras in one. A really, a really good, uh, good market value as well. And I think it's what action people want to see because one of the things that's missing on action cameras is seeing yourself with the action. So with our dual lens being able to twist 180 degrees, you can put it on your bike handle. You can catch yourself in the action as well. Yeah. So we also uh, have craft available? Limited. It's available now. Right now? L literally, just well, started. Well. Uh, uh, we're starting to move um, into uh, uh, different IBT regions, but it's available now, basically. Mm. Yeah. So at Oregon Scientific, you do a whole bunch of things. What kind of company is that? Okay, so at Oregon Scientific, we, uh, we believe in smart living. So that means uh, products that add value to your life. So uh, we go from um, uh, the products that give you sleep benefits and relaxation benefits uh, into sports, monitoring your actions uh, and with you outdoors, uh, into uh, uh, basically uh, at home pieces, so that means kind of like uh, design pieces for the home that give you, for example, information about the weather out outside. What does this one do, for example? Uh, this one, for example, uh, these are actually uh, crystals, so they're they're, they're, they're like uh, crystals which are specially shaped and we light them up to represent what the weather is going to be like in the next 12 to 24 hours. So, it, it's very nice. It's, it's a very cool plug. Many people buy this? Yeah, no, they, this, one is, this one is quite successful. Uh, then we have uh, some, uh, uh, this one for example uh, is one of our newest ones which actually we call mobile, uh, it's anywhere weather. Uh, so you can check the weather in a mobile way. So actually we have our own server space and we'll put the weather, for example, uh, the speed of the, the wind speed, the direction of the wind, and we'll publish it online, and then people can check the weather in a mobile way. But this is not indoors, so you put it on your roof? You put it on your roof. So for example, we approach uh, golf clubs, and golf clubs will actually set this up at their, um, at their golf club, and the golf club can actually inform their users. So you buy the whole kit and you put them exactly. outside? Exactly. How much does it cost a kit like this? Um, I think the price, cheap, no? uh, the, the price starts at about 109 and, and goes up. Yeah, and then and then we have the we also have uh, um, electronic learning products. So what do you, what is these things? Uh, are these are smart intentions? smart globes. Yeah, all come from our company. So this smart, globe. And yeah, what happens? Um, it's a globe, and uh, with this globe, basically. Um, uh, a, a child can use a, a, what we call like a pen, it's like a bit of like a magic pen. Point on any country and it, you have a load of different information that the, the child can actually learn about the country. The demographic, the language they speak, the population, information about history, politics. That's how they can every country. Yeah. And it's like uh, uh, digital information that shows up. Yeah, exactly. Um, and then it update according yep, to you can update it. Yep, you, you can update it via the web as well, yeah. And then uh, we also have, uh, this is an Android tablet for kids with uh, parental settings. So the, the parent can actually check in a mobile way how to, con to make sure the kid doesn't go on to... Inspire the kids. Yeah, you can say that. <laughs> uh, space, uh, th this one is actually nighttime view. So it's a night nighttime view of, uh, of, uh, uh, of the world on the, on the globe. Same, just for night? Uh, no, th th uh, this one also has uh, some other updates, more information, as well as the star, the starlight. So in other words, you can learn about stars when you switch it to this mode, and you can also it's, learn about the globe. It's two different parts. You can have to switch it over to night mode. Um, this, one. Uh, this one you can't switch over to night mode. This one is does everything. How much is the, one of those? Uh, that one, I'd have to get back to you, I'm afraid. Yeah. Um, and then we also have, uh, this is... Uh, different products that work with your mobile phone. So for example, we have a wireless charging uh, clock. Is that what you're showing here? 
and and uh, this one, this one here, actually, um, this one plays the music uh, uh, seamlessly. So you just when you you can play your music, put it on. And it will amplify it uh, with really good yeah, sound because quality. Because in, in the market, they normally use the AirPlay for the iOS uh, smartphone oh, you and for the uh, Bluetooth for the other smartphone. So for this, this should not have the barrier between the system. You just, what you can do is just switch on the music and then just dump it here. Then it can play. If you watch the movie, Stand the phone like this. Is this is there an application to do the synchronization? It's just kind of like a standard Bluetooth. It's used a, a, a technology called NFA technology. Okay. It's the latest NF NFA near field audio. Near field audio. Yes. That's. Uh, do you have something in the back of this? Or no, it's just no, no, Bluetooth? no, no. Just the phone and the speaker. No okay. cable. No things. Uh, no, no need to carry. How much does it cost this? How much? Yeah. In Hong Kong, we sell at uh, five nine nine Hong Kong yeah. dollars. Five nine nine Hong Kong dollars. Yes. And how long is the battery? Twenty this hours. Picture, this one. Yeah. Yeah. Do you sell yeah, many? Sure. Or is it new, very new? Very new. You, so. It's very new in the market because normally it's new uh, docking, Bluetooth, yeah. and AirPlay. It's All the right. Majority. Cool. All right. So thanks a lot. Yeah. Pleasure. So uh, how, how big is your company? Massive. Massive? <laughs> how many employees do you have? Or how uh, many? Right, how, how, right now. Is it a public um, traded uh, company? Yeah, it's a traded company yeah. in Hong Kong. Uh, so we're publicly listed in, in Hong Kong. Um, the company itself, uh, because we basically have, a, uh, we call ourselves IDT and Oregon Scientific. So IDT is uh, is uh, the, the company that purchased Oregon Scientific, the brand, and um, and together as a group, IDT group, we're a publicly listed company, uh, which uh, I think we've been publicly listed since um, uh, 1980s, something like that. Yeah. Yeah.